Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here, and welcome to the Death Egg Zone. Unlike the Death Egg in Sonic 2, this Death Egg Zone is actually two acts. We have bosses we'll have to fight in both acts. And this is basically a much flushed out zone of the Sonic 2 variation, thank god. I hated how Death Egg Zone was just like a boss zone in the uh, Sonic 2 game. I'm glad it kind of got its own little uh, makeup here. But this is another zone I really have a spot, soft spot for. A lot of cool mechanics, a lot of uh, interesting obstacles to get through. Much like in Lava Reef Zone, there is a shield of choice, and you want to keep the electric shield as much as possible. Not just because of all the rings, but there's also obstacles you can walk on with the electric shield. Yep, those things right there, you can walk on them if you have the electric shield. You can also just reflect certain projectiles back as well, which is always a helpful thing to do. The zone can give you a headache, though, if you're not careful. Oh, God, I guess you can't really walk on those. I think it depends. You can't hit those lightning bolts, but you can walk on them otherwise. Ouch. Just wanted the star post, game. You don't have to be a jerk about it. Also, yeah, I feel like I'm going backwards, which I shouldn't be doing. Let's, uh... Let's go back the other way, shall we? Ah! Sonic! Go the right way. Please. That's all I'm asking. What?! Okay, maybe I was going the wrong way. This zone can get kind of confusing if you end up going the wrong way. That and the frickin' enemies are jerk faces. Hey! Okay, they just sent me back here. Yeah, I'm, I must be going the wrong way. I don't have any other freaking excuse about this. That, unless I'm supposed to stay up there, which is a huge possibility. Yeah, I think that's what I have to do. Let's try this one more time, hopefully without getting destroyed. Okay, so I'll go up here. Wait for these things to appear. There we go. See, that wasn't so hard. Oh, God. Jerk. If you're not sure how to move on those platforms, always try jumping. Believe me, it helps you out more than you would think. Oh god! Oh god, this is gonna be scary. As you can tell, you probably don't want to be walking on that thing when there's... Yeah. Okay, let's try that again. Hopefully I don't go back too far. Unfortunately, I think I went back really, really far. Yep. Dang it. Okay, it's official. I'm lost. I'm lost in Death Egg Zone. I think so. Anyway, let's try going up this way. At least they get to show off some new paths here. That, that's going to be a good part of this. Oh, what's this? 
All right, these things. I like these things. Now, these actually invoke a principle I love in the in this game. It's the principle of always going left. Because if you notice, there were a lot of goodies over here. And if you actually go back and get them, you can actually have a lot of rings on your side. It's actually really funny, because one time, uh, OdinSpec33 had a stream where he played this game. And the entire time, like, when he got done with those things, I was like, Hey, Odin, go left! And he was like, No, the stage doesn't go that way! Or, you're gonna walk me into a bottomless pit, aren't you? And, like, this entire joke lasted for the entire duration of the stream, until he finally decided to go left and see that I was right. That was just fun. It was a... It was a great moment in gaming history. Because it's like, hey, go left. And he's like, no. And it's like, well, fine, be that way. You'll miss out on some great stuff if you don't go left. Okay, let's actually try riding this this time. Now, I could have avoided death last time if I did this right, but you're supposed to get a running jump right here. You couldn't figure that out. Oh god, then we have this thing. This thing's kind of annoying. Essentially, you have to turn on all the switches. The problem is, you don't know where this thing's gonna end up being, because you don't know where it actually starts going down. There we go. See, that wasn't so hard. If you're unlucky, though, you can spend up to, like, five minutes in that section. Thankfully, I didn't have to worry about that. Yeah, once again, for this thing, after you're done, go left. If you want a lot of rings, always go left. Oh god, especially those rings. I know there's enemies down there, but hey, the rings are worth it, honestly. Oh shoot, can I even get up there? No, I can't. Well, dang, I have to be a little careful here, then. Guess I'll just have to go this way instead. That's fine, I can go this way. And I'll just do this thing again. So yeah, if you end up uh, dying at this next bar, you can just uh, go left for a bunch of rings to retry. Definitely a habit you want to get into. But if you couldn't figure it out, we actually have the boss. Boss of Act 1. This boss is actually kind of difficult, so you want to be careful. This is kind of an upgrade of the uh, Sonic 2 boss that we fought in Sakai Skanctuary Zone. Very simple pattern that goes along with it. Just uh, hit him once, wait, hit him again. That simple. When it gets to a certain point, you can probably just keep jumping at him, but still, better be safe than sorry. But that's actually not it. This boss is a second phase, and this phase is threatening to say the least. But he has a pretty simple pattern, too. Ouch. Don't 
Don't kill me, I'm just a blue hedgehog! Please, don't kill me! You can seriously just stay in this little corner though and you'll be fine. Oh, the flaws of Dr. Robotnik's robots. And there we go, that's Death Egg Act 1. Let's move on to Act 2, shall we? Now this act takes place outside of the Death Egg. It's still quite dangerous though, so you want to be careful. I want these. Is there any way I can grab that? Come on. Yeah, apparently not. God. Doing this upside down is not cool, game. Sonic Team, you're weird. That's the only explanation. You have to be weird to do something like that. Okay, now I want that electric shield. There's the electric shield, but in Sonic, there's the... Uh, no, there's the electric slide, but for Sonic, it's the electric shield. Okay, no, screw that water shield. Who wants that? Water shield, you're not going to be any help to me here. The water shield is actually kind of useless in Sonic and Knuckles because there is no water. All the water shield is good for is just the uh, bounce attack. Because there is no water at all through the entirety of the Sonic and Knuckles game. There's water in almost every single act of uh, Sonic 3 except for, uh, I think, Marble Garden. Ouch. I did not mean to hit that. If you couldn't figure it out, Robotnik capsules are not good. They make you lose rings, and if you have zero rings, they make you lose a life. In other words, they're evil. Just like the doctor himself. Ouch. Okay, let's try this again. Gotta, gotta grab onto that thing, which is kind of annoying. Really. So that's how you're gonna be. Come on, Sonic. It's not that hard. Just grab it. This is, like, easily the most annoying part of this level. Why can't you just grab that? Can I just do this? Okay, yeah, I can. I guess I just wasn't trying hard enough. Ouch. Now tell me, game, how was I supposed to avoid that? He had that guy right there. The second I jumped up, he would have done that. Guess I could have had him go the other way, but... Eh, whatever. See, I didn't go left that time. I don't think there's any power-ups there, but... Uh, God. I swear, this zone's trying to kill me. Although, I guess that's what it's supposed to do. This is the Death Egg Zone. This is not the Happiness and Rainbow Egg Zone. I wonder what that zone would look like. Go that way. 
way. Yep, I'll go over here, because this makes more sense. Ouch. No! Oh, come on. Game mechanics, they're weird sometimes. Okay, I believe this is where I died. There we go. It actually took me a while to get back here. Oh god, now we're doing this upside down. I swear, this zone. I should call this the seasick zone. Or the sky sick zone. Because my god, if you're not looking in the right way, you can get like really, really, really sick from watching all of this. Sleepy and sick and all other feelings in between. Okay, yeah, we can actually walk on this. I like that. Uh-oh. I think we have boss. And yes, we do. Here's Dr. Eggman, Dr. Robotnik, whatever you want to call him. His new robot, the Mine Layer. For this boss fight, what you essentially want to do is you want to hit him with these mines. There's a number of ways you can do this, but the most thing you want to do is you want to actually, uh, well you can do this I guess. You can spin dash mines that are laying on their feet, or you can also just use the transporters to knock the mines right back up at them. number of ways you can do this, essentially. In fact, one of the best strategies is just doing that. Waiting for a mine to appear above him or below him, and then just going back through the tube again. Like this. This guy does take a lot of hits, but thankfully he's a very easy boss, considering. There we go. And now we're on the chase. Okay, here we go, guys. The final fight of the Death Egg Zone. We have to fight this huge robot. And he can actually be pretty challenging if you're not careful. First thing you have to do is you have to destroy his fingers. A method that's actually pretty easy to do if you uh, do this in the right way. You want to try to get the fingers as close together as possible. Then you can just spin dash and destroy them. may seem kind of cheap, but you want to do this as quickly as possible, so no complaints. And then you have the next phase of this fight. You want to be very careful with how you do this. 
We are running kind of low on time, but I think we'll still have enough to actually do this. Oh, oh, I almost forgot I had a uh, hypersonic here. Yeah, we can go ahead and use hypersonic just because it is the final fight of this zone. We did earn this power up after all. And there he goes! He goes down! But this still is not the end. There's one more phase. And it's the Dr. Robotnik running away like a little girl phase. You want to be very careful because the floor is rapidly following behind you. But after a few hits, he goes down. Okay guys, here we are, the Doomsday Zone, the true final zone of Sonic 3 and Knuckles. If you thought Death Egg was the end, you are dead wrong, this is actually the final zone. And you can actually only access this zone if you have all of the Chaos Emeralds. I'm not sure how it works in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, I don't know if you need all of the Super Emeralds or not. I seem to remember myself getting this zone without all the Super Emeralds, but again, don't quote me on that, because I don't really know for sure. Essentially, though, this is what you have to do. You have to dodge rocks and missiles, collect as many rings as possible. A feat that's actually kind of hard to do. Definitely collect as many rings as you can, though, because you're going to need them. This fight is very similar to the modern Sonic, uh, Super Sonic boss fights you see at the end of, like, Sonic Adventure 2 and, uh, Sonic Heroes and, God forbid, Sonic 2006. Okay, here's the first boss. For this boss, you need to guide missiles at the robot's face. Not really too hard. The projectiles are really, really annoying, though. The best thing you can do is just circle around the boss and just guide the missiles right at him. And there we go, first boss is defeated. But, there is a second boss, and this boss I believe is a lot easier. For this one, I think you just have to hit him. I'm not sure how many times you have to hit him, but just keep going right at him, and you'll do it in no time. Press the A button as much as possible to get the most out of your speed. And there we go! Sonic 3 and Knuckles has been beaten with Sonic. Hey Tails, what's up? Alright, well there we go. That's it folks, that's gonna be the game. Or at least, uh, this part of the game. We're going to return the Master Emerald to its sacred place, and then we do, Angel Island will rise again. There we go, guys. That's going to do it for this playthrough. Well, at least the Sonic playthrough. Like I said, this is not over yet. I still have uh, another playthrough I want to get through, and I also have a Tails bonus video I want to show. 
I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to handle that, though. I might do the Tails video next, or I might do the, uh, I guess the multiplayer next. I haven't really decided yet, but, uh, I'll try to show all the unique things in Tails playthrough. From my understanding, Tails has the same exact path as Sonic, with exception to that Tails does not have a Doomsday Zone. So his gameplay ends right at the uh, Death Egg final boss fight. And uh, speaking of that, yeah, if you don't have all the Chaos Emeralds, then yeah, you will stop Sonic's playthrough at the Death Egg Zone, but for Tails, it ends at Death Egg Zone no matter what. You can have all the Super Emeralds, doesn't really matter. As for Knuckles, though, Knuckles has a very, very unique path as it is, so we'll be taking a look at that for sure. In fact, Knuckles in general has less zones than both Sonic and Tails. But yeah, after I do the Tails bonus video and after I uh, showcase the quote-unquote multiplayer of the game... I will be doing a complete Knuckles playthrough. I will be uploading more zones of Knuckles playthrough at once though, so I might do, like for the first video, I might do Angel Island and also Hydrocity, or Hydro City, whatever you want to call it. I think I'll do it that way just because, again, it's going to be a lot faster playthrough as it is, and we've already seen myself collecting all of the Chaos and Super Emeralds, so I'm going to cut out all of that stuff. But yeah, for the most part, though, Knuckles' zones are a lot shorter as it is, so there's not going to be a lot of content there. But we did see the real meat of this game, and that is through the Sonic playthrough, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time for a few bonus episodes, and then uh, for Knuckles' playthrough.